out there, this is Dragonisk4 here, and today, for those of you that just may have viewed the, the whole transfer trick here, and want to learn how to do it, I'm going to do a, a private, unlisted uh, thing for the serious magicians here that want to learn how to do this. Uh, I'm not listing this publicly, so if you if you really want to learn how to do this, you're going to have to ask nicely, and, and you know, and I might give you the link to it. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to need either a playing card or a credit card, and you can use a real credit card if you want. Although if you're going to actually damage it, um, I would recommend just using like a old, like a savers card or something that, that you know that you're not using anymore. Okay, and you'll need either, there's two ways of do it, doing this. You'll need a hole punch. This way here, which is the, the easier way of doing it, um, is what I did is I took the hole punch and I cut it with a hacksaw so it's just short of punching through the hole so it won't actually punch. So you could put it on something and it won't punch, okay? And I'll show you the real way of doing it, too, uh, with a real hole punch. But this is a modified way. Okay, now, and what you need to do, you need going to take a real hole punch that does work and punch out a hole, a hole from a piece of aluminum. Aluminum foil, that is. Um, and also, if you're... It helps if you're in a little darker lighting and you want to on the presentation for it to be a little bit lower so like maybe waist level so if a person is like standing next to you you know you want them about a couple feet like maybe a foot or two away and then you want it down a little bit so they're not going to see this okay and what the gimmick is is that little hole punch that that you made from the aluminum foil right there okay you have it under your thumb, and you punch a real hole first in the end of the card, if you're going to do this particular presentation. Okay, so you punch a real hole into the end of the card. If you, again, you could do this without, without using the hole punch on the card itself. So if you wanted to, like, say, borrow somebody's credit card and make it look like you damaged it, you could do that with, with the fake hole, pu hole, hole punch so it won't damage their card and don't actually punch that. Okay, so now you're going to position your thumb. The back part of the thumb is going to be over this hole, okay? The real hole. And then th this thing is going to be under the front part of your thumb. Okay, so you position it like that. So when you hold the card, you're, they're not going to see that, okay? So then what you do is you take your hole punch, pretend like you're punching a hole, and before you... Remove it as you, or as you remove it, I should say. You're sliding, you're pivoting your thumb over, so you're still keeping that that hole, that real hole hidden, and then you get the fake hole over here. And you may have to help it off a little bit with your other finger because sometimes it sticks to your sticks to your thumb or something. Okay, so and when when you see this, and then after you drop, slide it over there, it looks like the hole is really punched, okay? And all it is, is it's an optical illusion. Your your mind is seeing that as a re, being a real hole because it looks like it, and you know, from a from a lower angle and stuff, it, they're not going to see that it's not real. And then all you have to do is pretend to move it, and so all you're doing is just sliding it with your finger to a, to a position, and again, you may have to help it off a little bit by just kind of making it look like you're doing something magical. Uh, and, and then you get it to different various positions. You could slide it over to the barcode or whatever, or in the middle. And when you want to transfer it to a, a playing card, all you're doing is you're putting your playing card at an angle, like this. Okay? And then you're just kind of pushing, pushing it on there so it gets on there with your thumb. So it'll raise up a little bit. And then once it's on there, you could move, make it move the same way, you know, and then transfer it back. Um, when you get it back on, when you put it back on the card for the final reveal of a real hole, if you're going to use the real hole, um, all you do is you bring it to, by your thumb, and then f without showing them that back hole, you just bring your thumb up and over that, that fake hole, 
and then you just pull it off really fast like that, drop it in, onto the floor or whatever so they don't see it, and then you could show that as being a real hole, and if you wanted to, you could pass these out, you know, like say you bought like a savers discount for somebody, you know, like in this particular one, it's from a, a restaurant, you know, and it's no longer any good, but, you know, you could even do this with a real one, you know, and, and just do it on the part that doesn't get scanned by the processor, you know, so you could present this as a, as a way to give out a gift certificate or something. Okay, now that's the simple version. For the real version, which you're using a real hole punch on this version, the, the presentation is more or less the same, but the, you know, but the starting presentation is slightly different. For the real presentation, you're still going to have the same setup with your thumb over the and with a fake thumb with a fake. But this one here will actually punch through a uh, punch through something. So if, make sure that you want to have something that you don't mind damaging. Okay, and you see this one here will actually punch through through a card or a you know whatever. And but on this presentation, what you do is you put it on the side and you. Bring it down with a lot of force, but you don't actually punch it. So what you're doing is you're you're hitting the card, and then you're making like a sound. And then after you slide it off the end of the card, then you make the punching sound. So they'll hear the sound. So it's like like that. So you go like that. So it looks like you punched it, but even though you're not actually punching it, you see. And then it doesn't actually make the real hole. But the, if you wanted to do it that way, you could do it that way too. And then you could actually show them that it'll actually punch through something to make a real hole so it's believable. And then you just proceed with the rest of the presentation as, as the normal presentation is. And that's all it is. All it is is this optical illusion. Isn't that neat? Now, a pro tip for, you, for the serious magicians out there, for normal use like I just did here... You would use like a silver dot, you know, a silver aluminum foil dot. However, if you're, if you're say like have like a surface that's a darker color, like a black or something, you might want to use like a, a hole punch from a white, from a white piece of paper, because the silver would look kind of suspicious. It would reflect the light wrong on a, on a black light on a black light. Um, I mean a black background. And you could also have, like, say, if you have um, a seriously white one, you know, then you may want to use, like, a black dotted, uh, cut a black dot punch out. But under normal circumstances where it's, like, a neutral, where there's, like, print and stuff like this is, you would, you would normally use the silver dot because of the fact that it, it would blend, it blends in and it, ref, it doesn't reflect like the background too much you know but it, but you can alter the the dots a little bit to um, you accommodate for whatever you need to present it with and again it's a little angle 